Hey there. Well, this is a reprise to some degree. I know that word normally applies to music, but it also applies to performances. It's basically saying, hey, let's look at this again. The last time I talked about this was in December. I think it's important to re-ask some of these questions and look into how our views have evolved over time. So anyway, here we go. What is hate? The simple definition is an intense or passionate dislike. The definition of dislike is to feel distaste for or hostility towards. So when does it become hate, especially when it's directed towards a group? Is it hate if you don't like a stereotypical action that is associated with that group? Can you dislike that action without disliking the group as a whole? Can you criticize that action without it being considered hate speech? I mean, when is it hate speech? And is that a false concept, just to begin with? Some people think so, some people think otherwise, so. How important is that stereotypical action that you dislike? For instance, I mean, what if it's not technically an action? If someone hates something as trivial as the way someone talks, is that on the same level as hating someone for stereotypical actions of the group that they belong to? Is it really hating someone if you just hate the way they talk? You don't want to be around them. You don't, I mean, you might even treat them poorly, but is that on the same level as hating someone for, for some stereotypical action that they may, may not even fall into? What does it mean if someone generally dislikes a group, but they have a whole shit ton of friends that are from that group and they treat them decently? Should we judge people for the things that they believe, or should we judge people for the things that they do with those beliefs? Something to consider is that some beliefs don't pair up well with certain mindsets or thinking patterns. One person may handle certain kinds of beliefs without any issue, but that same belief could trigger someone else to do something horrible. For some people, Islam or Christianity are wonderful things. They inspire them to do better. They give them a sense of purpose, blah, blah, blah. But there are others who those religions don't work out so well for. It's just like the issue of kids playing violent video games. For most kids, it's simply not going to be a problem. But for the rare kid who's already messed up, it plants a seed in their head and they end up going through with something horrible. Does that mean we should stop kids from playing violent video games? Because of the rare example of it inspiring a messed up kid? Sorry, I, I digress. To me, it's hateful when someone truly wants bad things to happen to that group. This is not the same thing as wanting a particular group to see or realize something. I mean, if you want that group to see reality, that's not necessarily the same thing as wanting terrible things to happen to that group. I mean, it depends on how you want them to see reality. Obviously, if you want them to see reality through horrible things happening to them, then that's hateful. There's really no getting around that. Now, if you think a particular group is hurting people and you want to stop them from hurting people, that's not necessarily hateful either. But it again depends on what you think should be done about it. And one of the big problems is some people have been led to believe that this or that group are about these things and sometimes they've been led by propaganda. But still, even with that propaganda, you know, it still matters a lot what you think should be done about these groups. If you simply and specifically want to take away their ability to hurt other people and you don't want any harm to come to them at all, it'd be hard to claim that that's hateful. I'm sure someone could come up with an example though. But what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.